guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, I'm gonna continue assembling my 2017 GMC Yukon, and hopefully, it's gonna be done today. I went to a dealer today in the morning and pick up my parts that was missing. So I got the bumper filler holder. I don't know, whatever you wanna call it, it goes over here. I got the right tube for it and also I got the parking sensors. I got my feeler, fog light feeler, trim, whatever you wanna call it, whatever you feel comfortable calling it, that goes over here. Also, I got the tail light. And surprisingly, this tail light cost me only, I shouldn't say only cause it's expensive, but eBay, you can find it $400 and up, dealer price. Of course, I have a buddy that owns the shop and I was getting under his account, so he got the discount. And I got this tail light for uh, $480. Brand spanking new. And it comes with the bracket. That's what I call nice quality. Not the shitty one that I purchased from eBay. Also, I got the bezel. Because my bezel, this piece is broke off. So I decided to purchase it. And also I got the new running board, which is expensive also. If I remember right, it's right around $400 or $380, something like that. Also, you guys had a lot of questions about where is my Ford F350. It's right here. It's always been right here. Every time I pulled out the GMC, you guys should have saw it. And you guys have a lot of questions when the... Four gonna get back on the channel as soon as I will finish the GMC I'm gonna put up for sale while selling it I'm gonna continue working on my Ford because I need the money for new projects as you know I have another project that sits over there under the tarp that needs to be done and I need the money to finish it also plus I have more projects over there that you guys can't see it they need some money put in into it also. Finished with the updates. Let's jump right into this Yukon. Finally finish it. Hopefully I can wash it today. Or at least I can finish it. And hopefully this week I completely be done with this vehicle. And it can go for sale. If you have an interest in purchase this Yukon. Throw me an offer. Let's take this bumper out. Install the fog light uh, cover also I need to fix the wiring there let's finally assemble this front end completely So what I find out, the bracket on the fog light is also broken. So I have two brackets that are over here. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna weld them back together and I'm just gonna install it. Those brackets are in good shape and they broke off from this, I don't know what you wanna call this, but if I can weld them like so, they're, they're gonna be just fine. And I'll make sure I'll reinforce them so they don't broke off in the future. Let's weld them.
as you can see save up the fog light operation was successful now let's install it you can see how good that is so i think it's gonna be way better than thatcher one it's not as beautiful maybe but it's definitely stronger completely done with this bumper I assembled everything paint those sensors install and fix the wiring fix the fog lamp uh, basically that's it it's ready to be put on back on the car now let's install this bezel but before I install the bezel I need to put the plug over there so the water when it's raining or you're washing a car and it goes down on the windshield it doesn't go into the blower so that needs to be installed I'll put it on the windshield glue then I'll install the bezel, cow, whatever you prefer to call in it and then I'll install under hood I honestly don't know what you want to call it under hood cover I don't know what is uh, what is it called but it is on the old hood i'll have to get the old hood out pull it out from it and install on it Driving around in my car, looking for some kind of open bar. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright. Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm. Having a good time, ain't doing no harm. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright. Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car, looking for some kind of open bar. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright. Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm. Having a good time, ain't doing no harm. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright. I done everything that needs to be done. Now 
Let's get this bumper and finally install on the vehicle permanently. I completely finished working under the hood. Under the hood it's done. Now we can close the hood. And that's gonna be for that part. Now let's jump in and those under wheel fenders, fender liners, install them and secure the bumper on the bottom. And that's gonna be finished for whole front end. And then I'll move to the back section, install the taillight, and also rear bumper. I'm done with this side, installed everything that needs to be installed on this side. Let's move on the passenger side and repeat the process. As you can see, I finally finished with this side. Everything is back on its original spot. Now, let's move the vehicle a little bit forward and finally finish everything at the rear end. Finally install the taillight, rear bumper. Then I will move to this side and install those chrome pieces on the side of those doors. And I think at that point, the car gonna be 100% assembled.
Alright guys, as you can see the rear bumper is back in its original spot, tail end is there also. To complete this vehicle all the way, all I have to do is glue quarter gloss back on and that be, uh, it's not that be it, but I still have to glue those side moldings, door moldings. It's almost there. Now it's finally time to do this quarter window, last thing left. Alrighty guys, the quarter glass back in its place, everything done and it's officially complete. 
except one minor thing. I have to figure it out, check engine, light. I kind of know what is it, but I'm not 100% sure until I get the sensor from a dealer in Napa, O'Reilly or AutoZone. They don't sell it because they're telling this vehicle is too new. In next episode, I'm going to be washing this car. I'm going to be revealing the price. Actually, you know the price. In the first episode, I revealed the price of the vehicle. But I'm going to tell you how much it cost me on the parts to, to be able to rebuild this car. And also, I'll let you know how much I would charge to do something like this. Let me know what you think about this build in the comment section. Also, if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at salvagemastervy to see inside scoop there before YouTube. And I'll catch you next one.